I was sitting there, stewing in quiet anger. I just wanted to play my Tiger H1, but here I was facing a backwards IS2 as all my shells bounce off the rounded turret and the engine block absorbs all my shots. I shake my fist angrily and curse the cold, uncaring, pagan idol I worship, the snail from Gaijin Entertainment. Surely, you've also been there. Maybe less of the angry fist shaking, but you've probably sat there upset after dying over and over in an up-tiered battle, since there's little you can do against the superior opponents. Personally, I thought it happened way too frequently, so one day I got an idea. Going into a battle's replay allows you to see everyone's vehicle, even the enemy team. So I took a screenshot, once everyone was loaded in, and I did this 25 times at 11 different battle ratings, from the lowest BR 1.0 to the highest BR 11.7. By the way, this was done mostly with minor nations like Sweden, Italy, and even Japan, just to keep the results fairly consistent, though we also used the major nations Germany, USA, and USSR. And also this was in ground RB. For each of these 11 major battle ratings, I created a chart that had enough room to fit every BR of my teammates' vehicles. I then created an exact copy for my enemies' vehicles. This allowed me to find the average BR of my team and the average BR of the enemy team for every single match at that specific battle rating. Once I filled out all 25 matches, I would then average the average for each team. This allowed me to see if my average teammate was similar in BR, lower or higher, and vice versa for my average enemy but you might notice the real BR. In some matches, people brought what I'm calling standouts. These are vehicles that are two or more ratings lower than my battle rating. They are purposefully up-tiered and it often upsets the balance of matches. Anyways, because this ruined the average BR, I decided to create the real BR. This is the average of every other teammate who brought a normal vehicle that you would expect to see. I also made sure to document what premiums I saw, so I could see not only how many premiums are being used at each major BR, but also which are the most popular. Looking at the color coding, there is red, orange, yellow, light green, and dark green. These colors are assigned to each match, and is a reflection of that match's average BR, not real BR. Red represents a match that the average player was 0.3 or more ratings higher than your vehicle's BR. Orange is 0.2 higher. Yellow is the same as yours, or 0.1 higher or lower. Light green is 0.2 lower than yours, and dark green is 0.3 lower. In order, these are up tier, slight up tier, on tier, slight down tier, and down tier. Now that you know how everything works, allow me to thank the people who worked on this project with me and we can look at the details more in depth. Also, if this video gets 100 likes, I'll release part 2, which covers every major BR from 6.7 to 11.7. So, thank you Cav for playing most of these battles, and thank you Monarch for helping input the data. Alright, let's take a look at everything. 275 screenshots later, I could now see the last 6,812 different vehicles I had played against and fought alongside. Let me ask you a question. Of the BRs, 1.0 to 5.7, which BR is the most balanced in terms of up tiers and down tiers? If you said anything other than 5.3, you would be wrong. Looking closer at 5.3, 7 games featured teammates far stronger than me, and 5 games far weaker than me. 7 games featured enemies slightly stronger than me, while in 8 games they were far weaker than me. All around, it was pretty fair when it came to difficulty. Which BR had the hardest opponents? Interestingly enough, 1.0 saw the highest rated opponents relative to BR. Two games featured enemies that were significantly stronger than me, 11 games they were slight up tiers, and only 12 games of the 25 could be considered on tier, which is slightly less than half. Now, which BR had the easiest opponents? At 3.7, I played 8 games where the enemies were significantly lower in BR than me. 2 games, they were slightly lower. Of the 25 games, only 4 matches had opponents that were stronger than me on average. Finally, which BR had the most premium vehicles? It might not surprise you, but the further up in BR you go, the more premiums you see. 5.7 had the most premium vehicles at 64 in total. Of course, these four questions aren't enough to capture all the intricacies and nuances of a hundred different battles, so I left a link in the description to see the spreadsheet for yourself, and if you enjoyed the video and want to see the data for 175 more battles from 6.7 to 11.7, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's aim for 100 likes and I'll make another video on it. Alright, 
That's all for now. See ya.